Tesla recently filed a patent application that reveals how they are using LiDAR sensors to train and benchmark their neural net, which could soon render LiDAR sensors obsolete, at least when it comes to use on autonomous vehicles. In this video, I wanna talk about how Tesla is using LiDAR sensors on some of their test vehicles and how they hope to use this data to render LiDAR sensors in the future obsolete. So without further ado, let's dive into the details. Elon and Tesla have made it very clear over the years that they don't believe LiDAR is necessary to achieve full autonomy, and they are working hard to prove it. Back in 2019 at Tesla's Autonomy Day, Elon Musk even said that, quote, LiDAR is a fool's errand, and also that anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. However, despite Tesla's public position on LiDAR sensors, over the last five or six years or so, there have been a number of Tesla vehicles that were equipped with manufacturer license plates spotted on the road with full LiDAR sensors, and this has definitely led to some confusion for the people that saw these images. For example, just a few days ago, Patrick McGee posted these images and this short video clip on Twitter of a Tesla Model S equipped with LiDAR sensors. Also, Mario recently posted this image on his website, thelastdriverlicenseholder.com, of a Model 3 with LiDAR sensors spotted in downtown Palo Alto. So what's going on? Why is Tesla using LiDAR sensors on some of these test vehicles? The answers to those questions are made very clear in the patent application that we'll talk about in just a minute. But before we dive into that patent application, I wanna talk briefly about why LiDAR is so popular with other vehicle manufacturers and also other companies that are working on autonomous vehicles. Most other companies that are currently working on developing autonomous vehicles believe that LiDAR is necessary to achieve full autonomy. However, of course, as we've mentioned, Elon and Tesla disagree. Now, as a reminder, LiDAR stands for light detection and ranging, and these sensors use laser pulses to detect objects and build a digital map of the surrounding area in real time. One of the biggest strengths of LiDAR is its ability to accurately calculate distance and depth measurements, which is something that is very difficult to achieve with camera vision alone. However, Tesla has never been one to shy away from difficult problems if the solution to that problem was the better option. And even back in 2020, as was reported by this Clean Technica article, Tesla was already making great strides with their camera-based vision system, and they were achieving LiDAR like accuracy even back then. In this article, Andre Carpathy is quoted as saying, we take a pseudo LiDAR approach where you basically predict the depth for every single pixel and you can cast out your pixels. He was also quoted as saying, if you give yourself LiDAR and how well you can do versus if you do not have LiDAR, but you just use vision techniques and pseudo LiDAR approaches, the gap is quickly closing. One of the biggest indicators that Tesla has made substantial progress with their vision system and the accuracy of that system came when last year they decided to no longer include radar sensors in the Tesla Model 3s and the Model Ys that were manufactured for the North American market. These Tesla Model 3s and Model Ys now rely on a camera-based vision system alone, and even without the radar sensors and obviously without LiDAR sensors, which they've never had, Tesla still claims that these vehicles have all the hardware necessary for full autonomy once the software side is solved in the future. Now, for those who have been skeptical of Tesla's decision to no longer include radar sensors in the Model 3s and the Model Ys that are manufactured for the North American market, the IIHS data seems to validate Tesla's decision to ditch radar. As you can see here, the 2022 Tesla Model Y received a top safety pick plus from the IIHS. And when it comes to the effectiveness of their ADAS system, which shows up in their crash avoidance and mitigation tests, you can see that the IIHS gave the Model Y a superior rating in the vehicle to vehicle category and also the vehicle to pedestrian category. In contrast, the Volkswagen ID4, which also received a top safety pick plus from the IIHS, it received a lower score than the Model Y in the vehicle to pedestrian category, 
despite the VW ID4, including the front radar sensor. So this data definitely shows that Tesla has developed a very effective vision-based system. So with that being said, let's dive into this patent application that we talked about at the beginning of the video and show how Tesla is using LiDAR sensors on their test vehicles to help improve and train their neural nets and improve Tesla vision. A patent application from Tesla was just published earlier this month entitled Multi-Channel Sensor Simulation for Autonomous Control Systems, and it describes how Tesla is using LiDAR sensors to help calibrate and benchmark Tesla's system to simulate LiDAR data. This patent application spends quite a bit of time discussing high capacity sensors versus low capacity sensors. They talk about high capacity sensors like high-end LiDAR sensors that are accurate and precise, but they have the downside of being very costly, complex, and bulky. In contrast, they talk about how low capacity sensors, which include cameras, may have lower capability, but they're inexpensive, portable, and more readily available. On the practical side, when you take a look at autonomous vehicles like those from Waymo that are equipped with all these LiDAR sensors, you can see how bulky they are and how they change the appearance of the vehicle quite a bit. In contrast, if you take a look at the Tesla Model Y or the Model X, the lack of LiDAR and the sensor integration on these vehicles is very clean and it doesn't take away from the appearance of the Tesla Model Y or the Model X. Now, autonomous vehicles require quite a bit of really accurate data to be able to navigate the world around them accurately. And this data can be sourced from LiDAR sensors, but of course Tesla is going another direction with much lower capacity sensors, but more of them with a very advanced system behind these sensors. When it comes to how Tesla simulates high capacity sensor data, like that received from high-end LiDAR sensors with their low capacity sensors, like from their cameras, for instance, this patent application mentions, quote, the modeling system 130 receives collected sensor data from the sensor collection system 150 and generates models that predict high capacity sensor data representations of the environment given sensor data from replacement sensors. In one embodiment, the modeling system 130 uses one or more neural networks to generate the simulated high capacity sensor data. The predicted models are provided to the autonomous control system 110. So to explain this in more basic terms, Tesla is collecting highly precise data derived from high capacity sensors like LiDAR, and at the same time, they are also capturing some lower capacity data, which they then compare to one another and build a training model. And then in theory, these training models should then allow Tesla to simulate similar precision data from lower capacity sensors without the need of high capacity sensors like LiDAR. Now do note that on the training side, this patent application does mention that these replacement sensors or these lower capacity sensors may include more than just cameras. Tesla says, quote, in one particular embodiment, high capacity sensors 112A refer to LiDAR sensors. The replacement sensors 112B can refer to sensors such as cameras, radar, lower capacity LiDAR, and the like. While it is interesting that on the training side, these lower capacity sensors can still include, for instance, LiDAR sensors, I don't believe this is any indication that Tesla plans to use lower grade LiDAR sensors on any future production vehicles. I believe that this only applies to their testing and not to the actual production vehicles themselves. And I believe this is made very clear by Tesla's stance on LiDAR sensors. Now, when it comes to further details about how Tesla achieves very precise data from these lower capacity sensors, they mention in this patent application, in contrast to high capacity sensors, each sensor in a set of low capacity sensors may provide fragments of information on the surrounding environment in different formats of sensor data and have lower precision information. However, the combination of sensor data as disclosed herein may contain information comparable to that generated from high capacity sensors. They go on to say, for example, a vehicle may have a RGB camera with a first resolution at the back of the vehicle, a grayscale camera with a second resolution at the dashboard of the vehicle, another RGB camera with a third resolution at the left and right sides of the vehicle, and a portable radar sensor. 
So basically, in summary of all this, Tesla is able to use LiDAR sensors to benchmark what the world around them looks like. Then they're able to collect data from all the sensors, mostly camera sensors around the vehicle. And then they compare this to the two and they're able to more accurately depict the world around them with only the camera sensors or the lower output sensors. And this is allowing them to achieve LiDAR-like accuracy without having to have LiDAR on their vehicles. As for rendering LiDAR sensors on autonomous vehicles obsolete, if Tesla is able to achieve full autonomy in the somewhat near future without LiDAR sensors and with Tesla Vision alone, it wouldn't make sense for car manufacturers to include bulky and expensive LiDAR sensors on their vehicles anymore if Tesla proves that vision-based systems alone can achieve safe, full self-driving vehicles. So basically, if Tesla is successful with their vision-based system, the LiDAR sensor, at least on autonomous vehicles, will go the way of the VCR and will no longer be necessary. Do let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you think Tesla will be able to achieve full self-driving vehicles, full autonomous vehicles with their vision-based system alone in the future? Or are they going to have to backtrack and use LiDAR at some point? in the future. I'd love to hear from you. I also want to remind you that the 2022 Electric SUV Buyer's Guide can now be purchased at cleanerwatt.com in a digital magazine format and includes information on around 29 electric SUVs that are available either right now or will be available in the future in the coming years. And it includes over 60 pages of content and I believe is a very fun read, whether you're in the market for purchasing an electric SUV right now, or you're just interested in electric vehicles in general. Make sure that you go over to cleanerwatt.com and check it out if you have not already. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.